Hello, Nadig here. Welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13. So, we are in the middle of winter and we are slowly building up our defenses. So, in between episodes, I had a bit of a look around and I did some, some thinking and some doodling with the planner. And I decided that I am gonna move the animal feed outside, get their own special little room there. Because then we can confine the animals here and basically make them stop raiding our fridge. Probably should have done it sooner, but that's what we're gonna gonna do. So let's see. We'll just make uh, some nice slate walls out of it. Also, this animal box needs to be reinstalled. Let's uh, reinstall it over there. Don't think we actually have animals yet that can live in the box, but for now that's gonna be it. And then, yeah, once that's done, we can actually move it. And then, just to put a wooden door in, doesn't really matter all that much. So, we're still uh, continuing our construction. Um, I also did some reassigning for the, the dumping stockpile. It's now basically all uh, against the solar panels. And this space is freed up, so the animals can just walk about here. And it no longer extends into our future animal feed storage. Oh, I actually need to put a, a cooler in there to prevent it from going bad during summer. So let's do it like that. Then at least we'll get a cooler on top of everything else. Max, what are you doing? You're hauling stuff. Can I tell you to... Yes, work on that. Most excellent. And we can at least finish our plans. And do our regular thing. Okay, so this eventually is going to turn into a uh, into a room, which means we can we can actually assign a st stockpile to it. Let's pause it while we uh, keep extending the area. Good. Then this one is a nice template. Put it in, and we'll just adjust it. So this is, well, it's clearly important. Um, actually, make it a critical. And then all we want is hay grass to be s uh, stored here. So, no, nope, that's not hops. That's not manufactured stuff. That's, I think it's just, yeah, see, hay. That's the only one. So we can actually just turn everything off and just turn hay on. And then all the hay will be moved over here. And if we have excess hay, it's going to be moved over here until we have space again. And then it's going to be moved out. So this means we can tell the animals to only go in their closed space. And we keep this one as a, as a backup option. But for now, this is good. Animals are no longer going to raid our fridge and eat our proper human food. And people will start moving stuff over. So, you're dragging slag indoors. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, also, I made a couple of very small dumping stockpiles with the, the same looting preferences as over here. So, once we got our doors uh, set up over here, then we should be able to just peek out in between the storage spaces and have a little bit more cover from attacks from the, from the flanks. Uh, we'll see how it, uh, how it turns out in practice. Let's see. Also, while we do all of this, I'm actually just going to say restrict people to the home area. So they're not going to mine outdoors. And we're going to really focus on building up our base this episode. <coughs> we still have the problem with the bugs over here. Yeah, bugs. I've kind of loved to hate them. Also, it's really hard to make something that's absolutely zero degrees in temperature if you also want to cool down an area that bleeds over into the outside so yeah for the future we are gonna get rid of all the rocks and replace it with proper walls just proper slate walls since we are drowning in the slate but that that's a future project so for now animal feed and our walls just to set up our defenses hey Jin has given birth that's one of our, our those. Oh, look, it's a little buck. It's a baby buck. 
which well, we can't. I don't think they're smart enough to. Oh wow, the animal can haul items. What? Am I overlooking a very, very useful feature here that we can just give obedience training? Oh, no, wait. This is just a general description, but it's grayed out, so to say. They need advanced, uh, yeah. Uh, trainable intelligence advanced, and this is just intermediate. So bugs are too stupid to hold. Okay, well, I, I can accept that premise. We'll uh, we can live with that. So for now, let's uh, advance time a little bit and let people just just work. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen here. Oh, yeah, we have some uh, some stone reinforcements on the outside, which they're actually getting around to building. Um, they're not. Building wooden doors here yet. Okay, cool. Darknesia is building this. I think it's just closer to the base, gets higher priority over further away. It's very nice that the cooler that I want to install here really just piggybacks on the, the power feed over there. But maybe, just maybe. Just drag a little bit more power a bit closer just to uh, not rely on, on that one too much. So far, so good. Well, people are just uh, nicely setting things up. Once we got the ball truly done, we'll need to uh, reassess how things go. I think I'll actually need to assign doors in there as well then. So you, behold, you're in the way. Very excellent. So once we got this one done, that means we can get all the food out. Then we have this one to build. We have some things to build over there. Ooh, cargo pots. What's in the cargo pots? Elephant meat. 24, 28. Okay. Um, who are our primary haulers? So we got Macho P, who is basically a hauler. And we got... I basically just don't want my miners to go out. Okay, Macho P, you are unrestricted. So Macho P can go fetch that stuff. Also, we are running a little low on meat. The fact that we just got a new baby buck means, I think, that we can uh, put one to the slaughter. One of the, the old ones, that is. Before they uh, bite the dust. So buck two is H7. Um, we have buck three, that's H2. Yeah, that means buck two can go bye bye. But, mm, you know what? We actually have more than enough corpses, which we just don't have the time to, to work with. That, that's the, the nice thing of a ambitious colony. There's always more work to do than people actually available to do the work. Cooler's gonna go in, then we have the wooden door. Hey, a new recruit. Seth has recruited a Vince. That means we need to uh, give you a name. So let me actually load up the name the list of uh, of people names of the colony. And that's gonna be right right. So, say goodbye to Vince. And say hello to Royd Royd. Welcome to the colony. So, just to refresh our memory, what the heck did Royd Royd do? You're a night owl. You're ugly and you're very neurotic. Okay. On the other hand, you are very uh, interested and passionate about more or less everything and you're incapable of caring, which is good. Oh, ugly night owl doesn't care. So, you can't do medicine... And wardening is out of the question as well, but everything else works. So let's just assign the default thingamajigs. Uh, wait, you're very social. 
caring is just medical. Cool. So we have a, another warden. I mean, skill 10 is pretty good. And this is going to be the night warden. So that, that works actually. Day shift, night shift. How are you with combat stats? Um, three shooting and some melee. Uh, basically, the important thing is how is your accuracy? Really good. And yeah, I don't think any of the prisoners had permanent injuries. Very excellent. You are indeed going to be a hunter. Um, so that's going to be one of your primary tasks. Cooking. Four out of ten and you are interested in it. So I'm going to give you a... Uh, rating 4, so you actually now rating 3. So you will cook if you don't have anything more important to do. Construction, which means I'm going to give you a tier 1 repair. And then again, construction where you don't have anything better to do. Growing, you care about it. Growing is important. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's, it's useful to do. Um, there's a couple of other people that are really passionate about it, so I'm just going to make you two. Mining, yes. Uh, we don't really have a lot of miners, so actually just bump your mining too. So you repair things, no, you hunt things, you warden, you hunt, you repair. That's already quite a lot of things. Then we have growing and mining as backups. Um, given that you're a grower, we'll also make you a plant a cutter. You care about art, but I don't. And because you are so busy with a lot of things, just going to make hauling and cleaning secondary tasks. Because you've got better things to do with your time. Um, and then crafting is just really, really low level grunt work. Going to give that to basically everybody. So there's always people available to cut stone and things if need be. I think for now that's going to be a pretty good setup. Or do we maybe want to prioritize uh, helping with uh, cooking? We're allowed. I mean, we have restrictions on our cooking benches for most recipes. Oh, that's not suspended. Let's check the details. Yeah, see, uh, cooking 10 for a lavish meal, cooking 6 for a fine meal, and cooking 4 for a simple meal. But I think we have some really good cooks already, don't we? Yeah, see, 16. So I think in order to prevent some, some food poison. I'm gonna bump the simple meal up to uh, an 8. No, actually that's to a 6. And I think at that point you got about a 1% chance of poisoning stuff. Bump this to an 8. And this is a 10. So everybody who has an aspiring cook, you can just butcher things. So that way we can actually boost the cooking for those who are interested by a little bit and they'll just butcher animals you know what i'm actually just gonna make cooking very important for everybody who who has some cooking jobs uh, i'm gonna actually disable it for veneros now because you are not passionate about it so you're not gonna learn as much and everybody else you can just cook so the butchering table will now should now always be in use and this room should be butchered empty rather quickly and that means that Louis, our, our prime chef, is not going to focus as much on butchering, but just on actually preparing the meals, which is what we want. So that's good. Okay. So, uh, right, right, you were a night owl, which means you should go to bed at night. But you should be... Sleeping more during the day. Also, let's actually just clear it. We just sent people off to bed. So this is at 12. So if we flip it, that's going to be at 10. So we just want to make sure that you go to bed. Uh, sleep for, actually just make sure everybody sleeps for four hours. And after that, they can wake up whenever they feel like. Um, and because, let's see, Rodroid is a attacker. You need to give you a weapon, because otherwise, no, as a hunter, you need a proper weapon. Um, let's give you a good bow. Or a great bow, even. That's a good great bow. And you're going to wear stuff. Okay. I think we can even assign you better clothing, because you're going to be a soldier ranged. I think I forgot to assign Seth. Yeah, and I think even Louis is no longer melee, are you? You actually have a gun. Yeah. 
So everybody is ranged. So that basically prevents them from uh, equipping a shield. The ranged, you can't all wear tribal wear because well, tribal wear is just tribal wear. Uh, and the personal shield is disabled because the shield is a shield bubble. It prevents projectiles from coming in and going out. And yeah, our primary crafters are people I don't want to risk, so they have fleeing behavior. So that's good. So we have an extra person. Welcome, welcome. And we still have one person to, to recruit, but that, that's just going to work out. But work will get done faster now, because more people. Also, Roid Roid is now sleeping. Yeah, don't worry Roid Roid, it won't take you too long to be good. Just as depressed as everybody else in this colony. Wait, did I say that out loud? Let's, let's, let's not mention that too loudly to, uh, to them, shall we? Okay, uh, why are we not building doors? We have a lot of wood. Um, right. You know what, right, right. I'm going to make you a builder as well. Yes, I, I, I really keep assigning a lot of things to, uh, to right, right. Also, you're just going to stay home. Machapi, how are you doing? You're sleeping. Did we ever pick up that elephant meat? That was up here somewhere. No, okay. It'll happen at some point. Well, we got a lot of things to do, right? We got a lot of things to, to move around and... Um, yeah, there's a turret that we want to build over there. We should also build a turret over here. That at least we have our, our defenses back properly the way we wanted them to. Because we are... Well, we do have quite some steel. Oh, mad animal. What's happening? A local doe has gone mad. Oh no. You are going to be hunted. So, right, right. Tempting to recruit to Simone. No, 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 no. I'm going to set you up here. Already hunting the wild doe. Most excellent. That worked. One more shot. Oh. Right, just uh, really attacked it though. Getting a bit bruised, but it's okay. Max is helping, good. Switch back, hunt. Thank you, Max, for helping out here, man. Much appreciated. Please don't shoot Max. Please don't shoot Max. Max, why are you standing there eating lunch? Ah, good. Right, well, this is an excellent uh, opportunity for Roid Roid, of course, to. Uh, Meet our medical personnel. No, it's a, it's a good social introduction to just everybody in the colony. It's uh, It works pretty well that way. So, construction, Darknesia, what are you doing? You're butchering. Okay. I did say that they had to do that, right? Okay, I'm going to load you all to two. So, this is the last thing you butcher. And now you're hauling stuff to build a turret. Actually, ooh, Bork self-tamed. It decided to name it Boss. Cool. Do I dare put it in the in the animal pen? That doesn't sound like a smart idea. How how smart are they? Have advanced intelligence, so we can actually turn it into a pet. Cool. So, yeah, uh, release the hounds of war, or the wargs of war. Yeah, we, we, we have to, right? I mean, it's self-tamed. That, that we, we can't say no to a self-tamed animal. So, for now, we're putting it in with the livestock. Let's hope it doesn't haunt, hunt our other pets. That's a good way to see, actually, if, if they will do that, or if they will just properly eat the, the meat. So, let's, let's count our animals. We got one work and we got five other animals. If at some point some of our deer go missing, we know who ate them. It's it's rather easy to figure out. I'm willing to take that risk since well, it's it's our animals. It's not actually our people that we're risking here. Okay, 
Uh, we got traders from Clownstown. So that's good. So you have been taken care of, right? Yeah, excellent. So, good, good. Is Road Ride our first night owl? I thought we had more. Or did we just lose one? Yeah, okay. We, we, we lost night owls in the past. Road Ride's fully healed and awake and doing stuff. Oh yeah, butchering animals like a champ. Well, it's a good way to get ourselves a lot of meat. I think I'm actually gonna sell t tell the, the work to also get in the fridge. And I'm actually gonna gonna extend the, the allowed area. Uh, let's see, animal... Livestock vault, yes, exp extend it so it can also go in here. Yeah, I'll basically just I'll, uh, tell them to, I mean, they can go through spaces where they don't have access in order to get to spaces where they want to go. So this will allow the work to eat meat. Oh, uh, that's not a random clear spot. Oh, yeah. good, good. Oh, and social person. That's gonna be see, Seth. Yeah, Seth is not awake yet. Well, Roy Wright was also very social, so you go have a chat with Clark. What can we trade? Steel military helmet. Armored vest. This is a low quality vest. We don't want it. This is high it, it's not it's awful so i don't think we actually even want to armor it this power armor that's a bit too expensive oh model of cocktails uh, sell one keep keep the other EP grenade they okay, can be useful for dealing with um, the, the robots great bow let's keep that uh, uranium shifts yeah i don't really want dagger users Way too dangerous. Proper medicine. Let's let's buy some since it's hard to come by. Artillery shells. We have some. I'd like to sell it. Apparently, this is not in an accessible location. Um, also, get a bit more components. So, uranium shifts are worth quite a bit. Uh, same for plasteel knives. Well, the, it's a very. It's all about the base ma base materials. So is there anything else we can splurge on? Uh, machine guns. Uh, let's let's not. Mm. Let's pick up an awful armor vest. I'm not quite sure if my my loot settings allow people to even equip it. Let's have a double check. Uh, yep. So I think we say okay. It's poor to legendary. So yeah. So you got shoddy, poor. Normal. So then awful is even worse. Trying to just get people in better and better quality gear. And I don't think they will prioritize higher quality things over lower quality things if they can just get an upgrade. So you need to help them a little bit. Might be a, a, a wrong assumption there, but people, they don't seem to obsess too much over what they are wearing. We failed to recruit Simone, but eventually it's going to happen. No, 2.4 chance, 2.4% chance, so that's got to be 1 in 40 attempts. So if there's 3 people trying to recruit them every day, that's going to be in 14 days. So that's, that's a full season. Eventually we will get someone. It's going to be good. Also, we no longer have sick people, so we can close the light in the hospital. Um, in terms of food, I think we're doing pretty good. We have a lot of meat now. We have a, a work that... Potentially can feed on other things than deer, which is good. Hey, we have an idle colonist. Seth, why are you not doing anything, Seth? There's nothing to hold, there's nothing to clean. There's nothing to warden. Uh, 
You know what? I'll give you a very, very low chance to actually research since nobody else is nobody else has the time to do research. We're not good at it, but it's better than not doing anything. Also, there's medicine down there. Oh yeah, we had a, a medicine stash. Okay, so darkness, yeah. Yeah, okay, you're still building walls. That's good. That's very good. So if you build things over something we had planned previously, then the plan is automatically cleared with the idea that no mission accomplished. But it does mean that, that I, I'm no longer able to see where I actually didn't mark things for the doors. So having it this way is pretty good. Uh, also, now that we have this one set up, we can start to expand a little bit. Uh, we can actually just do it in all this and just keep a small corridor here so we can actually build all the walls and then we can just start closing the corridor from uh, from the inside which will be good oh, also i think i had some extra doors over there or some extra walls over there just to reinforce it and make it look nice and tidy okay, so. good good I think I should put my first layer of traps in here as well. So we could use uh, steel traps. They actually do a lot of damage. Uh, 60 damage. If you do slate blocks, which is something we have a lot of, it's only 36. But the thing is, it's going to be really cheap for us to do this, this slate because we are drowning in slate and steel is hard to come by. So we're just going to make up for, uh, for the numbers here. Um, also, I think I'm just gonna tell Darknesia to build some doors in here. Traders are leaving, but we already traded, so that is good. Ah, also we have two of the turrets built already, which is very, very nice. You're hauling. Um, no, you're not. Wait, is this outside of my... Home area. No, it can't be. No, it's not. Uh, Darkness, yeah. You are our builder, right? Maybe I should just re... Okay, console, 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 console. Why can't I... Tell you to build things. You are a builder. Unrestrict you. Hmm. This is very curious. Okay, who has a terrible mood? It's much be, of course. You're feeling terrible, but you have a lover. That, that's good, I guess, but you're also a tired pessimist. So, yeah, sleep is going to be good for you. Oh, you're also sick. Yeah, you get this this whole sensory mechanized thing. You're really good at stuff, but you're miserable about it. Yeah, this is no neurotic people. Pessimistic neurotic people. That That's... Uh, they go this way. So maybe we should make you even more happy. So, much of be Oh, you already got four hours of joy in a day. Okay, I'm uh, not, not gonna bother anymore. We'll, uh, we'll see. Much of is just gonna break every once in a while. We'll just have to accept that. Okay, so Road Right is building some, some traps there. Once they're all built, we'll just tell them to uh, rearm themselves automatically. Uh, why are you delivering half work? Because you're delivering food to Simone. And then you continue building. Okay, maybe. Just gonna deprioritize your warding duties a little bit because there's just so many other things that are even more important. Also, the entire room of dead animals was butchered, which is good. Well, that's the nice thing about a night owl. Everybody goes to sleep and then when they wake up in the morning, and ta-da, everything has been built. 
Let's get way to uh, chew through our slater blocks. But of course, I want to use more of them for walls. But uh, building the, the traps and such is a very good way uh, to use it as well. So why, why, why are they just pretending like the doors don't exist? Because I can tell it to build the traps. But I can't tell anyone to actually work on the doors. Okay, you know what? Um, let's see if we can build them out of slate. That works. Oh wait, 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 wait! It's the it's the wood. We can't actually access our wood. Uh, I feel slightly stupid now, but I just hadn't considered. All our wood is locked in with the bugs that we still have to deal with. It's negative thirty now. I think they okay. Malnutrition. The small ones are gonna start to shiver at uh, less than 25 so that's good but the big ones I think need negative negative 40 yeah. the alternative is to crank up the thermostat but you need to go over 40 or 50 degrees which is also not the nicest of ideas but I think malnutrition is gonna be the the thing that kills them eventually Seth is idle. Okay, you know what, Seth? You are unrestricted, so you can just move about and actually haul stuff from outside. Maybe I should just lift the restriction on everybody. Just look at our meals now. We are drowning in food, which is good. Also, if we maybe just chop down a few trees, then we get some wood. Some of the board people can do that. And then we can also do some more hauling. I think we need more space to haul. We had this already marked for mining. But it's just so many things to do. So many things to do. And so little time to actually do it. Uh, let's stockpile. Let's extend this stockpile to all the way over here and all the way over there, just so I have more space to put things. Because then people should automatically start picking up stuff from outside again, and our previously board haulers will be uh, on board. And once we got some wood, we can actually build our our doors. So we build doors there, build doors there. It's all gonna be good. And these, these deadfall traps are gonna no deal damage to enemies as they stream in. And I've already marked out an extra path that I wanna wanna make just to extend things a little bit. But that's gonna be a second stage. First we just make it work. Oh that that's my mantra with a lot of things. First you make it work and then you make it better. Let's close this off so they won't actually bypass the traps. Seems useful. Oh yeah. Good guts. Let's see. So if we have a... Yeah, we want to have a... A door there, don't we? And then we just make this entirely reinforced. A visitor. They have some stuff to trade. People from Clownstown. Yeah. Siref. What are you carrying? Oh, some medicine, some components. They actually have some decent stuff. Oh, a mad animal. It's a local hare. Oh no, it's a level 3 killer bunny. So we mark this one for hunting. Let's going after the people there. Right, right, please. Save them. Save them, right, right. Uh, 
uh, you're hunting the hare. Where? It's there. Why you go running over there? Okay, good. You're finishing it off. You know what? Actually, let's uh, trade with Siref and then we carry the thing back. So, we have beer. You want beer. Oh, good. Here, you can have the beer. Beer is a very nice export good in that way. Uh, more medical stuff, more components. Um, I don't really want your packaged survival meals. They have a, uh, a poor pistol. Well, it's better than no pistol. So we're just going to uh, give them some money. It's going to be good. Right, and then... Yeah, you're building stuff. And actually, as a hunter, I'm going to give you the pistol. Uh, equip the pistol, please. Oh, it has a faster loading time than guns would have. Or than a bow has. So it's, it's a hunter. It's easier to get a shot off, especially if you get into close quarters situations. And you're just going to build them. Other people are going to hold and life will be good. Yeah, see, much piece already holding. That's very nice. Very nice. Okay, Darknesia's building. Uh, Roid Roid is probably going to go to sleep soon. People are chopping down trees. Uh, life is good. Ooh, and we even have some, some of the doors built in. Okay, there's two more deathful traps to build and then we're just gonna set all of them to auto -bio. Actually just do it now, then I won't forget it. And then once they're completed, I can remember, but at least most of the traps will get rebuilt. Ooh, and the wooden doors are in. Then we only have one wooden door remaining over there. And after that, we are good. I hear mining. Is that you folks? I hope not. Why do we hear mining? Ah, that was the, the smelting over there. The stone working. Because of course we are using quite a bunch, a bunch of stone. This one has been queued up. Okay, but I think for now this is a, a good place to call it. Nothing truly eventful is happening. But we did manage to improve the base by quite a bit. And of course we convinced Roy Roy to join us. So things are looking up again. So let's uh, yeah, let's uh, see you again in the next episode. And uh, see what that one throws at us. So thanks for watching. And see you again next time. Bye bye.